And then I'm gonna go in. Oh, God, I should in my eye. Hi, my name is Sabrina and I'm a Melbourne makeup artist and I have been for about two years now. Today I'll be showing you guys how to create a cut grease eyeshadow look and we'll be teaching you some tips and tricks along the way. If you are interested in more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Let's get started. I will be using the MAC Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Bot and this is what I will be using to conceal the base of my eyes before we get started. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and seal my eyelids so we have a base for the eyeshadow. I don't like to apply too much, just a little bit, just to give that nice even tone and for the eyeshadow to stick a bit better. And then I just like to set that concealer a little bit with powder. I'm using the RCMA, no color powder, just so your eyeshadow comes on that bit like seamlessly. And I'll be using the MAC Library in Nude Model. This palette is so pretty. It's got all neutrals. I am going to start with a transition tran, uh, transition shade, which is this one right here, which I believe is called Pleasing to the Eye. I'm going to pop some on my brush. I'm going to pop that right in the crease of the eye just to give that wash of color. Now I am going to go a bit higher, not exactly to the brow, but just under the brow bone and then we can build it up you can also stretch it out so then you get that nice cat eye look and it elongates your eye just to like your the end of your brow I'm using one of the brushes from the crown brush collection and this is for the crease as well but this is just to intensify the color in the crease a bit more and to like get that more precise look so then it's easier when you cut the crease so i'm gonna go in with the shade sugar plum this shade here as you can see the brush is more tapered so it will get into that area you want a bit more and i'm just gonna add that right in the crease dubbing it back into the eyeshadow to get a few layers there just to intensify it that bit more so once you actually cut the crease, it has that effect and it looks sharper, if you know what I mean. Now I'm going to go back with the fluffy brush. I'm not going to add anything back onto it. That's the one I use with the transition shade. And I'm just going to blend it out just so it's a bit more seamless. So this is in the angle eyeshadow brush. I am going to just pat on, what shade is that? The shade Dance in the Dark, which is the the darkest plummy brownie shade and I'm just gonna pat it on the outer corner just dub it there and I like to do it in more of in like on an angle I don't like to just pop it on straight line it just creates that more blended seamless look on the eye and also if you want your eye shape to be more like cat eye look you do it like more of an angle so like you bring it out you bring it up towards the ends and then you just start right on the bottom of the lash line i put on my eyeshadow before my foundation just because i want my foundation to come on clean without any excess eyeshadow on my face i'm gonna go in with the first fluffy brush i used the transition shade that i used at the start for my crease and just bring that all together so it's nice and seamless so that's done so when you like you're a very messy like eyeshadow person like me you get all like the eyeshadow on your base where you don't want it this is where we want to cut the crease and we want a nice clean nude cut crease i actually add some vaseline to my brush just a, a flat brush and then i add it to the part where i want to cut the crease just to the part where I want clean as well. You grab a wipe and you wipe over the Vaseline part that you applied. Look how clean and easy it comes off. So you have that perfect clean base ready to cut the crease. And now it depends on your eye shape or what you prefer. You can cut the crease all the way like to nearly the end of your eye. Or you can do a half cut crease which suits most eye shapes which stops right about here as you can see which is what i'm kind of doing i know you can just like wipe it off with a wipe but this vaseline it like takes it off for you so nicely i'm going to use a small flat round brush i feel like the smaller the easier so this is the shader shader brush and i'm going to go back with the um paint pot from mac just to create that cut crease 
in the spots that the Vaseline took off the eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna do the base so then my color can apply more pigmented. I'm just gonna go in from the inner corner and then take it as far as you like out. A smaller brush is easier to use for this, I feel like, because you have more control over where you're cutting the crease as you want it precise as you can get it. So a smaller brush is a bit easier to work with. Set also that concealer before you apply the eyeshadow just so it doesn't get out of place and also like clog up or crease. And this helps to make it more seamless. The shade I want to use is... It's called nude model you can use any color you want so if you wanted a more neutral look you can just add like a nude matte shade on top which will kind of look like this and it's a more soft cut crease or you can go ahead and use a glitter it just depends on what you like such a pretty shade oh my god this palette is amazing and just the same on the other side comment down below your favorite neutral eyeshadow palettes because i feel like you can never have enough of those so that's that i'm gonna go back with that tapered brush and kind of like blend it in with the outer corner and i'm gonna also add a bit more of the dance in the dark brown to the outer corner and then go ahead with and blend it out with the fluffy brush what you can also do is the first shade you used in the crease which was the really light shade the wash of color i'm also gonna grab that and i'm just gonna like wash it through just in between the glitter and the outer corner and makes it all look as one so that's how that looks there's also another little trick that you can do so i'm gonna grab the angle liner brush and i'm gonna go with the dance in the dark color i'm just gonna add a little bit to the end of the brush and i'm gonna tap all the excess off as much as you can and then i'm gonna lightly go over the crease bit just to intensify that cut crease a bit more make it look a bit more sharper just lightly so that's my little cut crease look i'm gonna add a bit of liner this is the roller liner eyeliner by benefit in the brown shade and i'm just gonna add a thin line and then i'm gonna go all the way it makes it look that bit more complete I know it doesn't look complete now. I have no foundation on. You can wing that out if you want or not. That's up to you. I'm using the Falsies Lash Lift Maybelline Mascara. I'm just going to apply a few coats. Wow, this is such a good mascara. Look at that. So I don't think I'm going to use the long strip lashes because this mascara is really good. I'll just probably use the um, end lashes. The Model Rock. Oh my god, I love this mascara. But I hate the faces I make when I put on mascara. Now, I don't like to stick my lashes on right after I applied the glue. I like to let them get a bit tacky and then they apply a lot easier. So I'll let that sit for a bit. I feel like brows is so important on what kind of eye look you do as well because it kind of defines the whole look. So I'm going to be using the Iconic London The Brow Silk Kit. Oh my god, I love the packaging. And then it comes with this like little fluffy brush. So you can use this brush wet or dry today i'll be using it dry and it's like a soapy kind of waxy texture and this helps to lift up your brows and give them that more fluffy look and once they're also lifted it does kind of like lift the whole eye look as well so i'm just gonna and then i'm gonna brush them up well oh my god it's so good it just it holds them right in place i have filled in my brows prior to this video so can you see the difference in this brow and that brow? Whereas this creates the more lifted eye look. And just brush that up as well. If you have any questions about applying lashes, just leave them down in the comments below and be sure to answer them. So I'm gonna look down to the mirror and then just place them where I want. And then I'm gonna go ahead with my fingers and just put them together so it's more sealed with my own lashes and it gives that more natural look i feel like these lashes are perfect for a cut crease so if you're doing the lo um the longer length of lashes the full length then it's um good to do like the shorter to longer because then it also like it stands out where you've cut the crease the color that you've used on the base and I might go over it with some mascara now i'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation so we can see the whole look 
all finished and complete. I'm going to just finish off the last touches of the eyeshadow by going in with the first transition shade that we used and just continuing with it underneath on the bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna go in, oh, I've got eyeshadow in my eye. And now I'm gonna go in with the angled liner brush and I'm gonna use the darkest brown that I used on the outer corner. And I'm just gonna line the bottom. Just like that, make sure it's all blended together. And now I'm going to line my waterline. I like to go in with um, the darker shade and kind of create that wing. So then it's like a cut crease, but also with like a smoky wing. And then I just like to create that wing with the angled liner brush and then just connect it to the bottom outer corner of your eye. And that is like, a really good nighttime look as well so you can go from like day to night time or just on your preference like daytime doesn't matter if that's what you like this is the final look thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll be happy to answer them otherwise i hope to see you guys again soon